The Iroquois Chase is next. Now this is a Grade One over three and a quarter miles. The Gold Cup distance, and everybody's got a couple of these. And there's a massive field for this, as you would imagine. It's every season because it's mostly maidens this week. The top is as good as it gets for Leon van Rensburg, Briantia Climber for Jim Murray, Bucco Martin, Liam Crackled, Alex Cherry, Good Card, David Hoodie, Gunpoint Defence, Stu Gray, Half Share, Leon van Rensburg, Land Crosser. Darren Thompson, Maguro Blade, Padre Hogan, Patricius Briggs, Stu Gray, the Broken One, Joshua Sutherland, the Oil Magnate for Matt Cooper, the Ranger, Joshua Sutherland, Watchtower, Graham Clitterbuck, Weaver of Dreams, Matt Cooper, World Class David Hewley, Finding Alice Martin, Lidham, Larassa Styles, Jim Murray, Leo's Holiday, Alex Cherry, Manic Monday, Padre Hogan, Miliana, Sharag for David Rawson, Ministry of Science for Paul Rhodes, and What No Son for Craig Beckwith, so 23 of the men on this tight American track, could be fun, listen, away they go, let's hope we don't get any jockeys left on the ground in this one, otherwise they'll get trampled into the ground, and they get to the first, and all safely over the first, with the Ranger pulling for its head, and short run to the second, and they're all safely over, they've got 24 fences to take, and roughly three circuits of the track, Fences will be coming up thick and fast and they'll be permanently on the turn as well, I think. There is Land Crosser, who's very wide at this point, but I'm sure will cut across at some point. And he's in the lead getting over fence number three. We'll see if we have that one though. Finding Alice the Great. And back was a bit slow and he's now stone last. Well, it's Land Crosser who's in front. As they make their way towards the fourth from the Ranger and then Leo's Holiday, Briantia Climber is after that one and they're all safely over number four, jumping okay. And nothing struggling for room at the moment. They've been too badly hampered by the number of runners, so maybe it's not going to be an issue as they make their way towards the next land crosser. And he's got himself clear of all the potential pitfalls of a big field by being six lengths clear in the lead. And the Ranger and the Broken One. Two Jim Murray Grays together, Larassa Styles and Briantia and Climber as they get over the sixth. As they're all safely over. Leon van Rinsburg's two are out the back as they get over the next, which they all jump well, as good as it gets. Just the tail end Charlie at this point. And then the crosser continues to lead. Over the 8th and the 2nd of the Jim Murray horses made a mistake there. That was Briancia a climber. They're all still on their feet. And coming down towards the next. I'll pass the winning post first. And then we'll swing out towards the next and it's Land Crosser in the lead. The Broken One is 2nd and Manic Monday is 3rd. The Rasta Stars is 4 and the Ranger is 5 and Gunpoint Defence is 6 and then Leo Holiday 7 and Briancia Climber 8 and then Waterloo and Cracked Old and then Bucco and then Weaver of Dreams and Good Card, Half Share and World Class and they get to the next and he's gone! The lead has crashed out there, Land Crosser has crashed out while in the lead. And they get to the next, luckily everything got past him okay, another mistake by Briancia Climber, but his Jim Murray's other horse, Larassa Stars, has now gone into the lead just a bit from the broken one on its inside. Those two are disputing the lead. Then Crackled and Manic Monday on Watchtower. Then comes the Ranger, and then Bucco is after that one. And then Good Card and the Ranger, and Weaver of Dreams as they get over the 11th. There's still an awful long way to go. This next one will be the 12th, and that'll be the midway point in the jumping. We've only lost a one so far. And that was the leader at the time, Land Cross, who looked to be going well enough in front as well. All safely over that one. In towards the back, What No Sun is the back marker. Craig Beckwith, who's taken the other two American chases, will be hoping that one gets a little bit closer before the end. And a broken one. He's just about in front from the crackle has now come through. Rasa Stars on the outside is still there. Also the Ranger is now trying to get into it. And also on the outside, Leo's Holiday. Shuffling for position. And they've still got the best part of a mile and a half to go as they get over the next. All safely over that one with the oil magnate, just a back marker as they get over the ditch. So towards the back is Patricia's Brig and Maduro Blade. 
they're quite tightly packed filled. There's probably no more than a dozen lengths for us to last. And there's still 22 of them on their feet. They're saying, oh, there's not any more because Patricia's Brigger's gone. Patricia's Brigger, heavy looking fall at the back there. And a stable companion gunpoint defence is now the back marker as they come past the winning post. One more circuit of the track to go. One more circuit and then the first week of this season will be in the book. I mean, he's had a decent start. It's Larissa Stiles who's in the lead. Larissa Stiles from Mil Miliana Sharag in second. Then the broken one on the Ranger. Then comes Briancia Climber who's making a forward move despite some mistakes. He's still well in contention. Then Manic Monday, a Minister of Science and Watchtowers after that one. Leo's Holiday is next as they get over the 18th, which they're all safely over. The broken one. Oh, Joshua Sutherland on the inside has got the lead and the inside is the place to be on these tight tracks and he comes around this turn and probably pick up half a length on the Rasa Styles. Daniela Share is going well as they get over the next one. And Manic Monday, what no sun, look at this, what no sun's come through for Craig Beckwith who took the first two American races and what no sun hits the front with five furlongs to go. What no sun is in the lead from Manic Monday in second, then comes Madonna Sharag, Ministry of Science was a faller out the back but it's what no sun over the 21st in the lead from Manic Monday as good as it gets has now come through from the back they may have gone too fast early on then it's what no sun in the lead what no sun as good as it gets Manic Monday Maguro Blade world class and Miliana Share they're all still in with chances finding Alice is trying to run on as well they come down towards the third last fence now then and it's as good as it gets up the centre of the track who's got the lead what no sun is in second over the third last they go what no sun jumps it better and has got the inside and comes to this ditch and lands in front second place is as good as it gets Watchtower's gone up the back, then comes Maguro Blade and World Class and Manic Monday in half share. But it's between these two at the moment, they've pulled six lengths clear. It's What No Sun on the inside, as good as it gets on the outside. They get to these final fence and over it they go, and they're nip and tuck now. These two, and it's What No Sun on the inside who's reasserting again. He's got a length clear, he's gone two lengths clear. What No Sun for Craig Beckwith. Craig Beckwith is the king of the states again and takes it. What No Sun wins it from World Class, as good as it gets, and Larissa Styles. And all the way back to the Emerald Magnate. And has Craig Beckwith been trolling on these American tracks or what? Because he's taken all three of these American races pretty cosily to end week one. And he might well be right up there with the big guns at the top of the charts at the end of this week now. What no son? Or oh, Craig Beckwith the winner with as good as it gets second for Leon van Rensburg world class for David Hewley third half share for Leon van Rensburg was fourth and Manic Monday for Padraig Hogan was fifth